happy Monday morning. Welcome to the start of a new vlog. I am sitting in my garage. I'm about to go meet Aaron at a mutually beneficial parking lot for a handoff. I feel like we're doing some sort of drug trade, but in fact, we've just gotten back from the Rewards Style Conference in Dallas. I left a day early, and I guess I left my GHD flat iron at the hotel, which she very graciously took home, and I cannot live without my flat iron. So um, she has it, and we're handing it off. And I'm still, yes, in the clothes that I slept in. It's been one of those days. Anyway, um, so I'm doing that. I do have most of my makeup on. The plan is to film my Sephora haul when I get back. So I just filmed my Sephora haul and I'm back. I saw Erin. I should have vlogged that. Whoops. Um, I am not functioning. Like I'm still, I thought I caught up on my sleep last night. Not so much. No, I'm still kind of a hot mess. So um, you'll see that video way before you see this video, but um, sometimes you just gotta go on and talk to you. Basically that was a vlog. <laughs> I just look, I look awful, but you can't always look, you just gotta look how you look, right? So anyway, I'm still working on getting a voice back. It'd probably be helpful if I stopped talking to you. Also, while trying to film the video, my, my microphone died, so it's like, and there's this weird string hanging out over out of my shirt, I'm just, it's a mess. Just one of those days. It's Monday, what are you gonna do? Anyway, isn't this kind of a cute t-shirt on a completely different note? This is one of the goodies I picked up at the conference by a brand called Splendid. I don't know if they sell this like exact shirt with the screen print, but they're known for their white t-shirts, I guess. It is rather soft. It's very, I like it, it's very comfortable. And these are new. These are part of the new summer collection from Kendra Scott, these bangles. I have them in gold, silver, and rose gold. And I'm wearing on my face many of the things that I got in the Sephora haul today, which is exciting. Would look better on a face that was well rested, but what can you do? All right, I'm gonna have a quick lunch of carrots and hummus, and then I'm gonna get to editing. All right, I don't know what went on here while I was gone, but my garbage disposal smells like something crawled in it and died. And I use these occasionally. I've tried everything else. I've tried ice, I've tried baking soda, I've tried vinegar, and I don't know what it is. But this stuff, it's called Glisten Disposer Care, and there are these little yellow balls that smell like lemon. Um, works like a charm. So what I'm doing now is not just wasting water. I'm running, you have to run the disposal with really hot water for a full minute, which I am about 10 seconds short of doing. Then you turn off the disposal and turn the flow down. Let's do that. So disposal off. Let's turn down the flow. So let's do a pencil width. That's about a pencil width. And then, you think I would know how to do this by now. You plank one of these in. Said ball goes in there. It's not going anywhere. Said ball, go in there. And then you turn it back on for 15 seconds. I wish you could smell it. It's kicking up these lovely smells of lemon. Ooh, it smells really good. You let that run for 15 seconds. And then, is that close? I'm looking at the timer on the phone, or on the camera. It's pretty close. Okay, and you turn it off. And you turn off the water. And it smells really good. Now, to be fair, hang on Buzz. I don't know if everybody knows this, but I did not know this till fairly recently. This rubber gauge, hold on Buzz. Oh, do you see that? Gross! Okay, so there is part of the culprit. Ew, I don't wanna touch the camera. All right, so you gotta clean that gauge out, that rubber seal. Yes, I hear you. Do that face again. Do that. Yeah, that's a scary face. You are two hours early for dinner, my friend. Anyway, um, I'm gonna clean that out because it looks like Michael put some, I don't know what he put down, that's like some weird veggies and they didn't go all the way. So that's probably the culprit. I'm gonna go clean that up. Oh, gross. So I realized that there's something stuck in the garbage disposal. I think there's, it's, I think the pipes are backed up. So a long, long, long time ago, one of my very first YouTube videos, I made a video on how to fix your garbage disposal yourself. And I've taken everything out from underneath and I am going to get to work on that. It's basically gonna involve disconnecting these pipes and clearing it out with like a wire hanger and then putting it back together again. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna link that video and I'm gonna get to work. I can't believe I have to do this again. 
Um, one more thing for tonight. Uh, Michael very graciously offered to go out and do the grocery shopping this evening because I was wiped out and he just had the coolest experience. So Chelsea, thank you so much for coming over and saying hello to him. You made Michael feel incredibly special. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I didn't get a chance to meet you, but one of these days, um, hopefully we will be in the same place at the same time. But anyway, Michael was uh, recognized at HGB tonight and he just was, he thought that was pretty cool. So um, I wanna say hey to Chelsea. One day we shall meet, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, and that does remind me, if any of you ever see me out and about, um, please come over and say hello. It'd be really neat to meet the other people, the people on the other side of the screen. Um, anyway, as you can tell, I'm fading fast. So I am going to sleep and hopefully tomorrow when I wake up, I will have a voice and I will have a face. So, so right now I just feel like my eyes are this big. So I'm gonna call it a night and I'll check in tomorrow. I started doing my spring refresh for my bathroom. See the new knobs? And um, I had to pull stuff out of some of the drawers to actually get to the handle so I could screw them in. And I decided this drawer, actually Michael came by and he's like, oh my God, your drawers are disgusting. Clearly men don't understand. But this is this drawer, which normally goes right there has always been a bit of a catch-all. So it is time to either purge or, I don't know, I need to find a better way to store my palettes and I just don't think they're gonna all fit in here anymore. So I think I'm just gonna keep the ones I use the most in here and then move everything else into my storage area in my bedroom. It's a lot of stuff in here. All right, let's get to it. All right, there's the empty drawer that I now have to wipe down. Here's the stuff I'm definitely keeping, but some of it's going to be moving into storage. And this is the stuff, over here really, that needs to go, but before it goes, it's going to be seen in an empties video. Um, I'm stealing an idea from Coffee Break with Danny. I watched her empties videos today. And what she did was, it wasn't just empties, it was just stuff that had expired or she didn't like and she wasn't gonna keep. And that's really what I need to do is I need to stop keeping stuff just in case and just get it out of my house because it's it's just, it's never gonna end. I mean, I'm constantly buying new products, I'm constantly getting sent new products, and it's, it's overwhelming. It's it's a good problem to have, I know, but it's, it's crazy. And the stuff that's like, doesn't work for me, I'll find homes for with friends, I'm not gonna just throw it out, but I need to not just hold on to it just, just because. I feel like a weight has been lifted. All right, time to clean it up and I'm gonna do one drawer at a time because I gotta make dinner too. Chicken fajita night, woo! All right, I've changed my shirt, something a little less prone to stains because I realized I'm filming a spring, either spring lookbook or spring clothing haul. I haven't decided what I wanna call it. And uh, I think maybe wearing a white shirt while I cook is a recipe for getting that destroyed. Um, Gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not feeling the vlog. I Snapchatted about how I'm just kinda over the whole vlogging thing. I think I'm getting a little burned out, but I also think it's just because I'm still really tired from last week and also because nothing of interest has happened in the last few days. So there's been nothing to vlog. I don't know where I'm going. I'm cutting up bell peppers. We're having fajitas. Bosley, you cannot have bell peppers. Bosley has a renewed interest in food to a ridiculous degree. Dude, no food for you. He, he eats like two dinners now. But that's okay. It's okay, we love you anyway. I don't even know what I was gonna say. I'm gonna cut these up. I'm gonna cut up an onion that's sitting over there, sad little onion. And then I'm going to saute them in olive oil for the fajitas. And Michael said he's gonna grill the fajita meat. So that's kind of exciting. Do you hear the breathing? It's like heavy breathing. Nobody does crank phone calls anymore. Like, I don't even know if this generation knows what heavy breathing even means. Such a sad waste. Such a loss to, to civilization. I'm kidding. By the time this goes up, the question will be moot, but maybe it'll be good for future reference. I stepped in poo, dog poo, to be clear. I guess, what other kind of poo? It's, I'm cracking myself up. I'm just thinking about human poop on the floor. That'd be <laughs> strange. Um. Anyway. 
Michael saying it's the benefit of living with someone who doesn't have a sense of smell. It wouldn't bother him any. I stepped in poop, not barefoot, thank God, in my Uggs though. Um, and they are now living in the garage. What, how do I get the poop out? Like what do I, uh, what do I do? Can I just hose them off? I don't know. Suggestions? How does one remove poop from treads of shoes? Not good, not good. Share your comments below. We don't make them fancy, but we make them good. We got fajitas here. Fancy, it's fancy, well, it tastes fancy, but then you look at our table, it's a little, it to a little ghetto. Ah, uh, it's better. Better. What do you think, Shane? Better than Aldacos? Uh, I don't know. Pretty. I've never had, I've never had Aldacos either. That's true. But good? Do we have an opinion? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, the key is H-E-B marinated chicken breast fajita meat. What is that? What is going on here? Cool. Thanks, Grill Master, for a job well done. Let's dig in. Nice. I know, God, we don't mess around with the rain down here. That, whoa, did you see that? Tropical, man. We're so far from the Gulf of Mexico. 1,500 miles. It feels like we're right on it. Yeah, we're a couple hours That rain. Whoa, you see it pouring off the roof? We need gutters back here. Oh, wow. Wow. At least there's no golf ball size hill yet. Wow. I love it. I love it. Hey guys, I'm back to sort of the normal routine and I'm here at lunch at Marioli. I've talked about Marioli's a lot um, and I will list them below. Oop, there's a little fruit fly. And I'm here with my good friend Maureen. Wave. And her son, her youngest son and Shane are buddies and they both play football together. So I just got a very berry salad. It looks really good. It's berries and chicken and pecans and the light is really bad. Let's do this way. There we go. And it's a cold and rainy day. Cold being like what? 65? Yeah. 65 degrees. So anyway, we're gonna dig in and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, that was a lovely lunch. It's nice to catch up with friends. And um, now I'm off to Target. I need a couple of things for the video I did about my bathroom remodel, which has probably already gone up. I miscounted the knobs I needed and I'm too short. So I'm going back for more knobs. And I kind of want to see if there's a shirt I can wear to it, or a dress even, to a fiesta party that I need to go to. Oh, look at this. The stormtroopers are here. Use the force to open the doors. Ooh, okay. Now I'm gonna do a little shopping. I'll let you know if I find anything good. I know this won't be a big deal to 99% of you who are watching, but for those of you who celebrate Passover, I am in Target, and it's one thing for them to carry Hanukkah stuff, but check this out. Passover has gone mainstream. Look at, it's a Seder plate, guys, and a kid's one, and like a matzah box, and serving dishes, and little things for kids. See, look at that. Plagues, frogs, and matzah. I'm pretty excited. I think that's awesome. I don't know if I'm buying any of it, because I already have pretty much anything anyone could possibly want, but that's pretty cool. Go Target, yay. Wrigley is, he has to work himself. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Mimi never does this. That's Bosley's food. They are so funny. Scavengers. So this um, Friday is field day at Reagan for I guess just the seniors, I think. Anyway. Jake, Jake, are you the captain of your team or you just volunteered to do this? Are you the captain of your team or did you just volunteer to get the stuff? Okay, both. He's the captain and the volunteer. Anyway, there's eight kids on Jake's team. I'm just sharing this because I would have never thought to go there. Jake went to Walmart to get the matching t-shirts to wear. Bam! There's some neon. I hope that's coming up in the camera because that's... Amazing, and you know what? This fit won't quit. And you know what else? It won't kill your wallet. You gotta love Walmart. I mean, come on. That's awesome. Getting around to making dinner, a little late, it's 6.40. Um, and I wanted to show you something that we enjoy eating around here occasionally, and it's fast, it's easy, and it's cheap as heck. Um, you get these thin cuts of beef. I don't know what they really are. Top round steak cut Milanese style, and I just um, salt and pepper them real quickly, and then 
just dip them right into a pie plate of flour. Don't dip them in anything first. Shake off the excess and then fry them up. And then you make a little wine sauce, which I will show you when we get to that part. It's very exciting. Uh, it's not really. And then I'm going real high end, real high class and making mac and cheese on the side. That's how we roll. Guys, so I have my disgustingly not appealing looking slabs of meat. They're good, but they don't look like much. They're all cooked. And we're gonna turn down the heat a little bit. And then you take whatever red wine you have handy in your fridge. Somehow I have this about half used bottle of dubious vintage, por que no? I don't know what this is, por que no? It says it's a 2010 Napa Valley red wine. What is it? It's a spicy Zinfandel blend, por que no? Zinfandel, 50%, Petite Syrah, 35%, Cabernet Sauvignon, 14%, and Petite Verdot, hey, what's for dinner? 1%. Meat slabs and wine sauce. Uh -huh. Anyway, you just pour it into the hot pan. I like to make a lot, a lot of salt. Just kidding. Yeah, so I'll leave that for another time. Anyway, you just simmer that for a while until it's reduced by about half the amount of liquid. Then you add a little bit of butter and you melt that in, stir it up. A little salt, a little pepper, just put it in a gravy boat. You're good to go. Yum. Gotta make the mac. Mac and cheese. Hey guys, I am meeting a friend of mine for lunch today to talk business, um, Booster Club business. Michael and I have been asked to sit on the new board, the 2016-2017 board. It's called Diamondbackers. It's for the it's the athletic booster club for the boys high school and the um, incoming president and current holder of our position is passing the torch on to me and so we're meeting so she can teach me how to do the job and then of course I'll teach Michael. I'm doing the whole thing. Like, who are we kidding? It's always a couple's position, and um, as far as I know. So, um, anyway, here she comes. She is a long, tall drink of water herself. Check her out. Look at that. So, I just finished my lunch, learning a lot about being a team rep. Very excited. I'm really excited. I, you know me. I love volunteering in any way, so, and if it can help my kids and other kids, then it's even better. And now, I'm hanging out in front of the high school, waiting for Shane to come out for lunch, and like every good Texas mom, it's Whataburger. Do you see what that says? Don't mess with Texas, y'all. What have we got here? Patty melt. That's what Shane wanted. So dropping that off. Um, and then it's back home to do a little more editing. My son number one and my son from another mother. Did you not get a meal? I got a meal. Is there fries? How today? about, hi dad. Hi dad, thanks for the thanks Thank for the Thank you lunch. for bringing me lunch. You bet, man. Thanks guys. See you, JB. I like your glasses. I guess hey. morning. They're awesome. Look, Bye boys, look you're very, welcome. Very erudite. You too. I'm running in HEB to get some little sweet treat, and I found Kiki in the parking lot. You look really I'm, nice for a like. I, I don't. But no. Um, I was coming for a sweet moment too. All right, so let's go find some sweet treats. Okay. What are these? It's sheet cakes that they make at the at the bakery over here. Oh my and gosh. If they don't sell that day, then they cut them up. Of oh course, my to make gosh. A great profit, but <gasps> German chocolate. I love because and how I much like, are these? I like. They're coconut. three bucks. Yeah, oh wow! It's enough for I eat half and I give Josh the other half. Oh how gracious! Carrot of you. cake, red velvet, Ooh. and of course just yummy yellow cake. See, I want yellow cake bugs. with yellow, with vanilla frosting. All right, I'm not really a cake person. I would just eat the frosting and be happy. I'm yeah. going with Lucky Charms. Yeah, I'm going mm. with cake. What's your What's your pick? German chocolate? Kind of German chocolate. Well, I don't know. Or carrot. Carrot looks pretty good. Carrot is good. Look at that red velvet. It's pretty. I've never actually had German chocolate. Today's the 15th, right? Yes, ma'am. Tax day. Bless. All right, One. you got yours. I need salt and Lucky Charms. You need toilet paper? <laughs> All right. Sometimes soup is a really good lunch. I need more soups. Even though it's good summer is coming up and it's going to get crazy hot. This is what we're having. For lunch today. Yum, yum. Just heating it up. Watched pot. Never boils, but I'm still watching this pot. Soup's on. Little crumbs here. Instead of crackers, sometimes I'll use croutons. Just for a little added texture. All right, yum yum. Okay guys, how crazy is this? I'm recovering from the reward style okay, conference. I'm home, I'm at the, my first party bag, and I hear this girl talking about how she works for a fashion oh tech company gosh, in right. Dallas. She works for reward style! 
Yes, we were at the same conference together. This is Ashlyn. Do you have a blog too? I am actually starting one, but not now. Okay, not right well, now. I'll keep you posted if things change. But we are here at the Ferris Fiesta. We have Fiesta pins. We have hats. And I'm going to take you around and show you some of the pretty stuff. I, they gave me this crown. I did not come with this. And I'll show you the rest of the decorations. her breast. Look at that. Isn't that, wait, don't move. I gotta get boom. it in focus. It's on your boob. There it is. We've been hitting the margaritas. Anyway, we're heading out and we had a blast and look how the pretty people here. I'll just go like that real fast. Oh. And that's the remnants of the street tacos. Street tacos. They're so good. Alright, we gotta go pick up Shane because he's at a party too. His life okay. is more interesting than mine. Okay. Morning. It's Sunday. We are expecting, oh there's a bug right there. Mike? I'm not opening that window. Look. What is that? What is that? Michael? This is why you have husbands. Really? I'm gonna go find Michael. I'll be right back. Okay, bug has been removed. Shane has requested biscuits for breakfast and we use these. Grand Southern style frozen biscuits. When we first moved into the neighborhood, just up on the corner, there were two girls um, living next door to each other. One was from South Carolina and one was from North Carolina. And if these two Southern Bells didn't know biscuits, then nobody did. And the North Carolina girl discovered these biscuits, made them for her mother. She used to make them from scratch. Made them for her mother when she came to visit. And her mother's like, oh my gosh. Did you get a new biscuit recipe? These are the best biscuits I've ever had. And when she revealed they were frozen biscuits, those southern ladies vowed never to make biscuits from scratch again. <laughs> so if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for this transplanted Yankee. So how long do I cook these for? 22 to 28 minutes. I like them a little on the underdone side. Nobody wants a crunchy biscuit. So I'm just preheating. I think I'm just gonna have eggs on toast. It's a little less intense, but who are we kidding? I'm never gonna pass up a biscuit. Like, never. Biscuits are life. My mother always used to say that I should have been born and raised in the South. Like, I never really <laughs> fit in completely up North. I love Southern food, and I love big poofy dresses and makeup. Things you don't see as much up there as you do down here. So this is Michael's latest egg concoction. He, makes grill, he can grill and he can make breakfast. He has decided to make scrambled eggs and put in the scrambled eggs spinach dip. And I tried it and it's actually not bad. It kind of basically tastes like solid spinach dip. But anyway, that and toasted Hawaiian bread, which he insists on buttering the bread before toasting. Does anybody else do that? I find that very strange. Um, but it looks really good. So that's Michael's concoction. Hey guys, running errands. Kiki's off to her annual ski trip and I uh, gave her some reading material. I have a few <laughs> magazines. Up magazines. It's a little recycling, right? <laughs> and we are hearing thunder, so we're gonna cut this short and... Um... Oh yeah, show So it's Fiesta, so I gave her a Fiesta. We do medals. Medals. We do medals for Fiesta, so this is the Los Barrios um, 
Fiesta, Viva Fiesta Los Barrios, continental Mexican cuisine. Can you see that? So cool. So we like traditionally are ooh, the thunder are covered in these during Fiesta Week, and this is only my second one that I got so far. Oh, really? just the Ferris Fiesta from last night's party. She oh, ordered. Pins. She did. <laughs> <laughs> so, funny. I feel so honored. All right, let's let's turn this off so I don't ruin my camera. So this is happening. I feel like this is how we started the vlog. I love this. This makes me so happy. Yeah.